What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing aviators on a Superman hat bringing you yet another episode of Fight Like a Superhero here on the Modern Ninja channel. Now guys, before we get into this video, I want to start off by saying Merry Christmas. For you guys, it's probably uh, Christmas Eve if this video comes out on time or maybe Christmas Day. Santa must have come early this year. Because you were first on my Christmas list. But either way, I'm sure you guys are spending time with your family. You guys are enjoying, you know, spending, getting those gifts wrapped, getting them under the tree, getting it all set up. But here is a little uh, bit of a lighthearted uh, video to kind of relax and get you into that Christmas mood. Today, we are going to be fighting like Santa. Joy every year, man. I represent cheer. You represent sandals and a scraggly beard. I'm from the North Pole, that's why my rhymes are so cold. I spit diamonds, but I'm serving up some fresh coal. Uh, fighting like Santa. Yeah, we're gonna uh, fight like Santa today. What I don't, what's, what's the problem? Um, Santa's a fat dude that delivers Christmas presents with magic from the North Pole. How does, how does he fight? He, like I don't I don't see where you're coming from here. Well, aren't I glad you asked so as you guys know Santa is The the jolly fat man that steals your cookies and leaves you gifts under your tree, but For this video, we're gonna be taking a look at a special Incarnation of Santa this is gonna be coming from a video bang right here I'll leave it have it planned clips right here for you guys, but we're gonna be going over this specific type of Santa because this Santa is uh, a bamf. He is legit. He takes he takes on Darth Vader in this video. If you don't, if you haven't seen the full video, definitely go down in the description. I'll, I'll leave a link down there. Check out the full video because it is amazing. But we're gonna go into talking about his fight style right now. I'm a jolly full of jelly, giving holiday presents, but all the chosen people ever get for Christmas is just. So this Santa, as far as I can tell, uses a very acrobatic, heavy uh, form of sword fighting and staff fighting in and of itself. So uh, even though he does do a lot of acrobatic tricks, his swords are gonna be very. Um, flashy, very flare-esque movements to them. So they're gonna be big circles and big strikes that make big motions. It's kind of hard to keep track of the blade at a lot of points in this video, but he uses almost a, uh, for those of you who didn't know what hyper is, or uh, like kind of more extreme style of sword fighting than what traditional sword fighting would be. And so uh, keeping that in mind, it's not super, Effective in real life because you don't have you know the force to help you you know know where stuff is You don't have that superhuman level of agility But knowing the fighting style is still step one of learning how to incorporate it into uh, your real life style So forgetting about all that forgetting about using the force He's gonna use a lot of flashy sword movements in his strikes a lot of the things he does as well would be cartwheeling or hand springing into certain moves so he, instead of like you know just jumping in forward and slashing he'll cartwheel or do an, a somersault over somebody and then slash behind them and then use the force to slash over here and then bang slash that way uh he uses the force to guide his sword just as much as he uses his sword in his hands which isn't something you could do but it's something you can mimic with certain sword techniques and sword tricks added into the combat style. Now, effective, that's up for you guys to decide. But it is how he fights, it is what he does. Uh, going forward towards the end of closer to when he defeats Darth Vader, he uses a saber staff. And so he also uses staff techniques. Now, um, his the techniques he actually uses in the video isn't really seen. You see it spin a couple times, you see it open up behind him, and you see Darth Vader with all his limbs cut off. So, uh, definitely, we're definitely gonna be kinda inserting what I think would have happened, what I think he would have done with his sword, his single sword, to kinda ground it. So what I'm gonna be doing 
is when I teach you the techniques at the end of this video, I'm gonna take the techniques and style he used for his sword and transfer that to how he would use his staff if it all carries over nicely. Uh, whether it does carry over nicely or not, we will see. But uh, that's all for to find out because kind of it's kind of hard to solidify where everything is and how exactly his body call is because of the lack of content. But I really just wanted to do a Fight Like Santa episode, so sue me. Suck it up. So <laughs> we're gonna jump straight into the next portion of this video where I teach you three different. Eh, Ah, oh, yeah, that was, that was, eh. Think you need to stop smoking all that burning bush. Three different moves that he would do in his fighting style that you can use to train and learn yourself. So, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so our first technique is going to be with our sword. Oops, that is going to be based off of the Santa Claus motion. So, we're going to go one, two, two high level strikes with our sword so one to the left one to the right now you're going to do a figure eight or almost a figure eight you're going to do circle behind the back one and then circle behind the back a, a quarter you're not going to go all the way through so it's going to go from here watch again circle behind the back one behind the back quarter just like this and then from here you're going to come around the head and across the body just like that. So one, two, around the body. Bang! Just like that. One more time, all the way through. Just like that. The next one will be a cartwheel or one-handed cartwheel with the sword in your hand. Now the sword for me is gonna be in my right hand, and you can have this right side up or upside down. It doesn't really matter for this video. I'm gonna have it upside down. So you're gonna take that stance, that a body stance just like this. Now you're gonna reach over with your left hand, with your back hand, the hand that obviously doesn't have the sword in it, and you're gonna kick over with that same leg as hard as you can all at the same time. Let me get my keys out of my pocket, just like that. So you're going to reach over, put your hand on the ground, and kick over as hard as you can, just like that. Keeping that blade nice and tight, not letting it wiggle around so you stab yourself in the leg. Keep it nice and tight and solid so that you know where it is at all times. Keep that grip solid as you, just like that, so you know where that blade is at all times. That is super important. Cartwheels aren't hard. I've taught them before in the Combat for Dummy series, but keeping weapons in your hand, it is important. I almost saw it backwards. Keeping the weapon in your hand, it is important that you know exactly where the weapon is at all times. So the last one is going to be our staff technique that he uses towards the end of the video. Um, it doesn't show up, but so I'm gonna do a technique with my staff that is similar to what he would have done. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start off both thumbs facing up. So you're gonna have one palm up, one palm down. I like having my right palm up and my left palm down just like this. So you get that thumbs up with the right hand on top. What we're gonna do is start off with a block. You're gonna step to the side and block up just like this with this part of your staff. Just blocking just like that. Now from here, you're gonna come around the back of the head and stun across the face. Bang, just like that. Just like that. Now from here, you're going to come around, spin, and strike through. Ready, one more time. Blocking, one, two. One more time in slow motion. Blocking, one, two. All the way through. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, this is kind of just for fun. I wanted to see if I could incorporate Santa into a video, and I did. But if you haven't seen that awesome fight scene, I'll leave a link down in the description, like I said before. Definitely go and check that out. If you want to see more of these types of videos or a different character, whoever that may be, let me know down in the comments. And for those of you that have stayed around, what is your favorite holiday character? So you got like the Easter Bunny, you got like Santa, you got um, all the elves and Santa's you know place, you got Rudolph. What is your favorite holiday, any holiday 
character. So with that said, let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more. Till next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out.